More than 80 billion pieces of chicken are consumed worldwide each year. To meet this colossal demand, massive factories slaughter and process over 20 million chickens daily. But have you ever wondered how it's actually produced? Is it true that they're full of hormones and chemicals? Well, today we'll travel to the United States, home to one of the largest chicken meat factories on the planet, where over 10,000 birds are processed every hour, ready to be transformed into the wings, thighs, and breasts that millions of people eat daily. So get ready because you're about to discover how chicken meat is mass-produced. Let's begin! Step 1. Breeding and Preparation on Farms It all starts on gigantic poultry farms, where millions of chickens are raised under a completely automated system. And we're not talking about just a few coops, but industrial sheds capable of housing over 150,000 birds at the same time, all under perfectly controlled conditions. From their first day of life, newborn chicks are transferred directly from incubators to these sheds, where a race against the clock begins. They have only 40 days to grow from a mere 50 grams to over 2 kilograms in weight. To achieve this, operators use a meticulously designed high-calorie diet, a concentrated mix of corn, proteins, minerals, and vitamins that accelerates muscle growth and generates just enough fat for tender, juicy, and flavorful meat. Contrary to popular belief, no hormones or steroids are used in this process. Their accelerated growth is achieved solely through optimized feeding and selected genetics. During that month and a half, the chickens live in a completely automated environment. Everything is designed to maximize their growth, from temperature and lighting to the exact amount of food they receive every hour. Upon reaching day 40, each bird undergoes a strict veterinary evaluation. If it doesn't reach the ideal weight, size, or condition, it's excluded from the main batch and re-evaluated days later. Those that pass the check are loaded onto enormous trucks heading to the processing plant, where in a few hours they will be transformed into breasts, wings, and everything you see every day in your supermarket. Step 2. Transportation and arrival at the plant Caged by the thousands and stacked with millimeter precision, the chickens travel in enormous trucks specially designed for mass transport. The journey can last several hours, but everything is calculated so that they arrive alive, stable, and without visible damage. Once at the plant, automated systems unload the cages and place them on movable rails that lead directly to the waiting area. There's no chaos or rough handling here. A stressed chicken releases hormones like cortisol, which completely change the color, texture, and even the flavor of the meat. If not controlled, hundreds of kilos could spoil even before processing begins. Before moving on, technicians and veterinarians perform a quick new visual inspection of each batch. Those showing weakness, injuries, or any irregularities are separated and discarded from the main process. Only specimens in optimal condition continue their journey to the next step, the most sensitive, precise, and impactful part of the entire process, mass slaughter. Step 3. Slaughter and Bleeding The cages align in front of a completely automated system. A mechanical arm extracts each bird by its legs and gently positions them on an overhead conveyor belt. From that moment, the chicken hangs upside down and moves along metal rails to the stunning area, where a low-voltage electric current passes through its body for a few seconds. Immediately after, an automatic blade makes a precise cut to the neck, severing the carotid artery. The bird, still unconscious from the electric shock, begins to bleed out slowly as it continues its journey, and in a matter of seconds, death is inevitable. All of this happens in seconds, and on a line like this, over 12,000 chickens can be slaughtered per hour, one after another without stopping for an instant. With the bleeding finished, the body is ready to face the next step of its transformation, preparation and cleaning. Step 4. External Cleaning and Preparation With the body lifeless, the chicken remains suspended from the metal rails and moves on to the next stage of the process. First, they pass through a hot water bath at over 50 degrees Celsius, the perfect temperature to loosen feathers without cooking the meat. Immediately afterward, each bird enters large plucking machines where a spinning cylinder full of rubber fingers rips every feather from the body as it rotates at full speed. In a matter of seconds, what was a feather-covered bird is now a completely naked body already beginning to resemble the typical chicken we see in stores. After plucking, operators manually inspect each unit, one by one, removing any remaining feathers and trimming any visible imperfections. When everything is in order, each body undergoes a final high-pressure water rinse, 
which eliminates any last traces of blood, dirt, or fecal matter left from previous stages. With the exterior perfectly clean, we reach the most delicate step of the process, opening the bodies and extracting everything inside. Step 5. Evisceration and Sanitary Control the bodies advance to a critical phase, evisceration. There, automated machines calibrated to the millimeter make a perfect longitudinal cut in the abdomen of each bird. Through this opening, all internal organs, intestines, stomach, heart, lungs, and other viscera are carefully extracted. Although machines do the heavy lifting, specialized operators supervise to ensure nothing is overcut, no organ breaks inside the body, and everything comes out clean and error-free. Before continuing, a mandatory filter comes into play. Sanitary control. Veterinary inspectors manually check each body for infections, damage, or internal anomalies. If anything doesn't meet the standards, it's immediately discarded. Only when everything is in order is the inside of the body rinsed with powerful jets of pressurized water, removing any trace of blood, bile, or fluids. And so, with the body clean inside and out, the chicken officially becomes a meat product ready to enter the cold storage chambers and face one of the final steps before leaving the factory. Step 6. Chilling and Final Resting With the body completely empty, each chicken continues its journey, suspended by metal rails, to the industrial chilling chamber. There, hundreds of bodies enter one after another through a refrigerated tunnel that maintains a constant temperature below 5 degrees Celsius. They will remain there for about two hours until they are completely cold inside. This process, known as chilling, is fundamental for inhibiting bacterial growth, preventing decomposition, and preserving the meat's properties intact. When they reach the optimal temperature, the bodies are firm, clean, and ready. That's when the final step of the entire process arrives, cutting them, packaging them, and transforming them into those pieces that millions of people enjoy every day. Step 7. Cutting, Packaging, and Distribution the chilled bodies arrive directly at the cutting area, where specialized operators equipped with automated saws and high-precision knives separate each part of the bird. Breasts, thighs, wings, and trimmings destined for processed products like nuggets or sausages. Each piece is classified in real time by size, weight, and quality. After selection, they move on to powerful packaging machines. There, specialized machinery positions each piece in its corresponding packaging sealed trays, vacuum-sealed bags, or individual wraps, depending on the final destination. Each of these machines can package over 12,000 units per hour, keeping everything under controlled conditions. Once packaged, the pieces move to the labeling system. Each package receives its label with all essential information, type of cut, weight, expiration date, and a traceability code that allows the product to be tracked from the farm to the point of sale. With everything ready, the packages are stored in cold storage chambers until they are loaded onto enormous refrigerated trucks, which distribute them to stores, restaurants, and supermarkets across the country. In the United States alone, over 8 billion chickens are consumed annually, a colossal figure that clearly shows the size and production capacity of this industry. Finally, tell us, did you imagine this entire process? What's your favorite piece of chicken? Leave us your answer in the comments. And if you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you don't miss the next factory tour.